movie this weekend here in Austin. We've got a sneak peek at Flatland the movie. Wouldn't that be amazing? A super square in the third dimension? Please. Maybe hex. a super hexagon? Hex. It would be. You know the circle's proclamation. It's too dangerous to believe in such foolishness. Why? Why? Because the circles are wise. That's why. What makes them so wise? Their configuration, of course. Their infinite size. I hex. wonder what's so. And we now have Jeffrey Travis, the director of that movie, to explain what did we just see there? <laughs> Well, what we've just seen is called Flatland the Movie, and it's a half-hour animated film that's based on a book that was written in 1884. And Flatland is this world of only two dimensions, length and width. There's no height. Um, in the story, one day, uh, one of the characters, who, they're all geometrical shapes in Flatland, squares, triangles, circles. This, this character, Arthur Square, gets to travel to the third dimension. He's taken there by a mysterious visitor. And when he goes back to Flatland to try to explain that he's discovered this new direction called Upwards, uh, the Flatliners consider this idea so preposterous they put him on trial. So um, the idea is to take this sort of classic book that was written in the 19th century and reimagine it as a film and use it as something that can be entertaining and educational for kids. So it's got that Animal Farm feel to it where it's obviously representing real life actions when people come back and say, oh, the world is round or, That's right, you know, yeah. And, uh, and the persecution that follows after that. So it's a, it's a good movie for kids, too? Absolutely. You know, it's, it's funny. It's one of those things where it's both interesting for adults and kids. There's, uh, when the book wrote about it, it was both a mathematical science fiction book as well as sort of a political social commentary. So our objective is to make it educational for children, something that math teachers and parents can use to help their kids get inspired to think about math. But there's also some of the original social commentary from the book as well. So. What made you decide, how did you find Flatland this book from the 1800s, and what made you decide to make a film out of it? You've got some big names here. Martin Sheen, Kristen Bell, Michael York, Joe Estevez. Yeah, we, you know, we were very fortunate. We got a, a great cast uh, in, in this movie, and the project started uh, when two of the people who are my partners in this project, producer Seth Kaplan and animation director Daniel Johnson, um, got together, and Seth, uh, the producer, called me and said, hey, I'm thinking about turning this book into a movie. And I'd actually read Flatland in high school, and I remember it really captivated my imagination. And Very I said, cool. let's, let's give it a try. Let's see if we can do this. All and right, so, and people can catch it for free tomorrow, right? That's right. It'll be showing for a free screening tomorrow at Regal Arbor Cinemas. Uh, the 3 p.m. showing is already sold out. There's a 4.30 p.m. screening. And uh, you can get all this, more information about this at flatlandthemovie.com. So it's already sold out. It's free, but you need to RSVP in order to get those That's tickets. That's right. You correct? need RSVP to get your tickets, and you can get all that information at flatlandthemovie.com. All right, tickets. Jeffrey, yeah. thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.